كثير ابكي على عبد العزيز طبعا لاني هو الولد الكبير كان عندي I cried about Abdullah Abziz a lot he is my eldest son Whenever I saw him suffering or saw bloody wounds I would try to cool him down and make it easier for him In the past when I was younger if you had hemophilia you would struggle a lot I would have to miss school, sometimes for a period of a week or two weeks. As I grew older, I became more aware, and my situation has improved. Now I understand things like what is right and what is wrong. I was in Canada, and I was in Canada. A Canadian delegation set up a specialized section for hemophilia and thalassemia diseases in the Bashir Hospital. They presented Abdelaziz with the medical treatment and maintained the treatment while monitoring the deterioration of his joint. Well, actually, the uh, training program is uh, going to improve our diagnostic uh, capabilities, and uh, this will definitely improve the level of uh, the services that we are offering to patients in the public sector, and in particular, hemophilia patients. In the peripheral areas, they actually don't uh, recognize these uh, patients, they don't diagnose them early, and uh, they are being not treated well, and uh, they lose the opportunity of uh, getting uh, enough uh, or uh, adequate treatment. <laughs> I think that the awareness has become much better now. I tried to help to the extent of my ability. Had someone helped me when I was younger, I don't think this would have happened. I would not have been on crutches now. Many things have changed during these uh, five years. The society now is working actively, helping the patients in having good contact with the Minister of Health, with the health services. Uh, we trained our patients to deal uh, in the best way with their uh, problems. <laughs> So the society now is a strong society. It has a very strong board. They do have good volunteers. Uh, they started also a youth education uh, program. Uh, they managed to have youth camp. Uh, we are now in the third camp here in, in, uh, in, in three years in a row. Uh, each time we organize a camp, we ask the participants to sign their name and to draw something in, in a piece of uh, uh, cartoon or like this. And this is for uh, saving souvenir from the different camp. Uh, we ask the patients, the participants, the facilitator, the visitor, our guests from Canada, also from the twinning uh, society, to really write their names. To this uh, encourages them really to participate more and more in the camp. As a member of the organization, I try to make the young children more aware. Through my life experience and the things that I have had to deal with, I try to make the children more aware. When I was young, my parents did not understand hemophilia either. The Ministry of Health at the beginning, they were, they, they were a little bit skeptical, uh, and they didn't know exactly why is all this, the twinning, uh, the society, uh, the symposium and everything. But time by time, they, they managed to understand that this is for the benefit of the hemophilia patients in, in Jordan and to help the health professionals to advance their knowledge. You are welcome in Jordan. We, I know some of you have already been in Jordan before. Would like to see you more and uh, I hope... So the next year, the Minister of Health uh, was uh, quite cooperative. He gave a very encouraging speech and he promised to increase uh, the budget of given to the care of hemophilia in the country. Thank you again.
it doesn't matter about your politics or 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 your views on the world or your views on the Middle East. A little boy with a sore knee is a little boy with a sore knee. And so the fact that we've been able to assist and be a stimulus for their own improvement of their care, I think has been has been a tremendous point of pride for me. And I believe it has made a significant difference in the lives of this relatively small population. Anyone who needs this service, we are ready to volunteer as our colleagues from Canada and from other countries from UK, they came here. Our people here who are trained to spread this knowledge and experience to those who need it. Because if we keep it for ourselves, I think it's nothing, it will die with it. met some physicians from India, uh, from Egypt, from many, many countries here in Jordan. I really bow to them. I feel very humble because I don't think I could do it. And I don't think our physicians could do the work that they do. But they struggle on. And one physician, a lovely physician from Kerala once said, some days all I have is love. <laughs>